Hello everybody, welcome to Josh Delaria's Musical Escapades. My name's Josh Delaria, your host, and as I'm sure you guys could probably figure out, uh, there has been a plethora of new music that's come out this year, and I've dug my way through quite a bit of it, and come out with plenty of songs that uh, I have really liked this year. You know, it's been kind of funny, because like, some of the songs and releases that I've been most excited about, I, I've... All, somehow just kind of found to be disappointing so far this year. Not necessarily that they're really bad, but that they're not as good as I would have expected them to be. And some of the songs that I've been kind of hesitant to get, where I thought, you know, uh, I'll try it out, but I'm not sure that I'm going to like it that much. Th some of those songs have turned out to be the best that I've heard this year. So today I'm going to share one of those songs with you guys that I was hesitant to get when I first heard it, but once I got it and I played it, I loved it. This one comes to us from husband and wife bluegrass duo Kenny and Amanda Smith, who are out of Lebanon, Tennessee. And um, Kenny actually has been kind of a big time bluegrass guitarist uh, through most of the 90s and uh, the early 2000s. And he met his wife Amanda, who was a choir singer in church, I think, uh, at least sang a lot in church, and um, in a lot of local talent shows and that type of stuff. And it was their love for bluegrass, and their love for music, and their love for Christianity that brought them together both as husband and wife, and as bandmates. And I found these guys through some uh, some bluegrass magazine. I don't remember which one for sure. It might have been Bluegrass Today. Um, but I know I've gone through a couple of them, so I can't be for sure that it was that one. In any case, um, once I saw it, that's how I knew about their album that came out back in March called With You. And I'm going to feature this song called Song for a Sailor. And again, when I looked through this album and I was listening to some of their music, I was like, eh, okay, I'll try it. I don't know how much I'm going to like it. Uh, I, 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 I literally said to myself, I don't think I'm going to like this very much, but we'll see how it goes. And then I ended up getting one of their songs, obviously this song, Song for a Sailor, and I loved it. It was amazing. So I think you guys are going to love it too. I'll send you my furrowed love, my dear Carried by the strongest currents Flowing in and out with the tide Rising with the morning sun Until you return to my side Alright, so I think that's kind of a neat song, I don't know what you guys think, but 
I like it quite a bit. In any case, um, I do want to start off with the banjo here. Uh, I want you guys to listen to this. It really sounds awesome as you're hearing it in the intro and in the solo, too. In all honesty, I think what really stands out about it the most is, uh, ju I think, obviously, the precision is really awesome, because it's not necessarily easy to play all those notes uh, right in a row. I don't know, I feel like most banjoists are quite a bit skilled, that they're able to hit all those without having an issue. In any case, the other thing that sounds great about it, too, is the musicality of it, um, coming in with, you know, a lot of strong notes and then some not-so-strong notes uh, in terms of uh, volume, anyways. So. Uh, so I think the dynamics are great on it, too, and I think that's what really helps it stand out. Okay, I also want you guys to listen to the first verse here, and just listen to the clarity of Amanda's voice. How far would my love go for you? I sail across the ocean blue Against the highest ocean waves prevail When you're tossed and turned and turmoil Know that I'll be waiting true My love for you, my darling, and will yeah, it, it really sounds super clear, and you can understand pretty much everything that she's saying. Um, I do think that's really important, because there are a lot of songs where the musician is not very clear about what they're saying, and it garbles the lyrics, and I, I do think it makes them harder to understand. So, you know, with the ability to hear the lyrics clearly, I think it's just easier to understand the meaning of the song, and I, hope that, I think that helps bring that out a lot more. Now, the most important part of the song, in my opinion, is the chorus, and I think this is very, very beautifully done. I'll send you my furrowed love, my dear, carried by the strongest currents, flowing in and out with the tide, rising with the morning sun. Yeah, I really like the originality behind this metaphor. Like, I, I think that there have probably been, uh, obviously there have been tons of love songs written, um, and I'm sure plenty of them have been about, or at least related to, in some way, um, sailing and uh, seafaring and stuff like that. Um, but I really like the spin that, that Kenny and Amanda put on this, uh, because it, it really sounds different from anything I've ever heard before. I think they give the speaker a really great message, and I think it really does an excellent job of reflecting authentic love, uh, because it's saying, she, she's basically saying to her husband as he's off to sea and separated from her, that it's her love that's going to help him or guide him through all the trials and tribulations and encourage him to get through it and to, to go on and return back to his home. And I think that's just so beautiful and powerful and lovely. And I also think that the contour and rhythm of the, of the music here is really, really excellent as well. Really helps bring out that metaphor and bring out the lyrics quite a bit. Um, and so the contour is going up, it kind of goes up and then down, and then, you know, the, the rhythm. I like that the rhythms kind of start off getting a whole bunch of words in kind of fast at the beginning, and then as the chorus goes on, the words continuously start getting more drawn out and a little bit longer. And I really like that idea um, because it really kind of keeps you keeps you as a listener on your toes, trying to come see what's coming next. And that little anticipation, I really feel like, just kind of buries it right in your head and makes it more and more powerful as you listen to it. So now, of course, we come to the all important question of: Is this song going to get nominated for the top twenty? Well, as you guys all know, um, if you've watched my top twenty qualifications videos where I explain how to make it to the top twenty. Um, I look for mainly two overarching categories, and those are songwriting and execution. And I think that this song does an excellent job of both songwriting and execution. Whenever that happens, obviously I typically nominate that song for the top 20, and I'm going to go ahead and do so with this one. 
Uh, obviously, as you guys all know, also, not every song that gets nominated for the top 20 gets in there, uh, because I always nominate any song that I think has an opportunity and deserves to be in the top 20, which is always more than 20 songs. So, there are obviously some that don't make it, but, you know, as long as the song's nominated, it always has a chance. Alright, that is all I have on this video, you guys. Thank you all for watching. Um, I highly suggest you guys check out Kenny and Amanda Smith's website. Um, it is kenny-amandasmith.com. And as always, I'll go ahead and put their social media links down in the description below. Also, I heard that Kenny Smith is, is supposed to be at uh, Music on the Town in Dandridge uh, coming up on August 20th. Dandridge, Tennessee. It's about an hour's drive out of here in Knoxville. Uh, so I'm going to try to make it over there if I can. Don't know for sure. I don't know if Amanda Smith's going to be there. I think she might be, but I don't know for sure. So, uh, we'll see. Um, but I did want to let you guys know if you're local in the area here, um, you can come on up there, and if I'm there, you can talk to me if you want. So, I'll, I'll try to be there. And, of course, as you guys know, the top 20 of 2020 is coming along. So, if you've made some awesome music, and you've released it this year on a full album, and you want me to hear it, and potentially nominate it for the top 20, I'm all ears, you guys. Definitely send it my way. And uh, I will give it a listen, I will give it a go. Or if you know somebody who's got some great music out this year, um, send it over here. I want to hear it. I want to hear everything that I possibly can. Um, there's three ways to get it to me. You can get it through my email, uh, joshdelariasmusical escapades at gmail.com, or my Facebook, facebook.com slash musical escapades. Or of course, you can leave it down in the comments below. Whatever you do, I'm going to listen to it, and obviously maybe feature here on a future show. You never know. Thank you guys all for watching, and until next time, go make great music, everybody.